Hello, everybody. Here we are again. Yes. Magically here another time. Yes. And we finally fixed our little situation in the back. Yes. It, yes, don't hate. It's a shower curtain, but <laughs> hey. We're it's too, light. We're ghetto. We're but ghetto, but hey, but it's, it's gonna a, work for now. It's a cute shower curtain. It's a girly one with little girly stuff on it, and it makes the camera look better, so. Yes. So, we are doing another BBW, uh, Bean BBW, and this is based on sex. It is. The topic so, is sex. We've done other ones. If you've never seen our other Bean BBW, go check them out. You'll understand the whole reason of us doing this. Yes. Um... But this one, the topic is sex. Okay? Yes. Okay. Well, again, what I say doesn't speak for all BBWs. What I say doesn't speak for every man in the world. What I'm speaking about is experience that I've been through or stuff that I've heard. Whether it be a friend told me or whether it be something I've, I've been through. So I don't want everybody to get this all twisted up and start commenting and everything, but this is based on stuff that... This is all personal stuff. Yeah. Like, it's not saying that this is the correct thing, this is the wrong way. It's just us telling you our experiences yeah. of what we've gone through. So, I'll start it off by saying that being BBW, um, it's not, it's not like it's the most horrible thing in the world, and it's not like it's the best, okay? You have... People say you have your positives and negatives. I see more negative because I've had, po I mean, I've had compliments, oh, you're pretty or this, but then you get the compliments like, oh, you're pretty, but you would look better if you lost weight. Or you're pretty for a big girl, which I hate that quote because you're telling me that I'm pretty, I'm pretty for a big girl. Like, okay, you have a pretty face, but you're, but you're big kind of thing. Kind of like, uh, you know, which is, it's not true because I might have a pretty face, but I also have a beautiful heart, a great sense of humor. So if you add it all up, I'm a, I'm a pretty, I would be pretty regardless if I was tall, short, fat, skinny. You know what I'm trying to say? So anyway, basing it on sex. Um, I'm just going to come straight out and start it off like this. A lot of guys really do think, they really do think that when you're bigger, you're easier. You're more desperate. So therefore, they either just come straight out and say to you, hey, you want to have sex kind of thing? Or they just, because they feel like, oh my God. Like, they really think, I'm not saying, oh, this hair is in my eye. <laughs> they really think that every girl, I'm not, again, this is only from my, my experiences and stuff. They really think that every girl, whether you're face-to-face, -face, behind a computer, whether you're, however it may be, you met the guy. They really feel that every woman that's big, has two chins, you know, that we're all sitting there like, oh my God, he's messaging me. Oh my God, he's texting me. Or, oh my God, he's walking towards me. Oh my God, you know, anything he asks, I have to do. Uh, you're wrong. I'm sorry. Maybe when I was younger, I felt that way more. I'll be honest. When I was younger, if I seen a cute guy heading towards me, I was kind of like, oh my God. Oh my God, if I was eating, I couldn't eat nothing. Oh my God, put, put down the food. Ah, you know, that's not me now. If a guy approaches me, just say, I'm just going to name a spot. Say I'm at Fridays, okay? And if there's a guy that's hanging out with his boys and he approaches me, I'm not going to literally sit there and put down my food and push the plate over like, oh, hi. I'm going to sit there. Like, obviously, we're all here for a reason. I'm eating, like, but I'm, I'm going to be me, you know? And I'm not, every... A lot of guys think that no matter how they approach you, whether it be face-to-face, -face, online, whatever, they really feel that 90% of big women are going to do anything that they ask them. There are some women that do, so therefore it makes them think if woman A, B, and C did it, D, E, and F will too. Okay, I get that. But not every woman is, is desperate, is feel has really bad low self-esteem not every woman feels that way like actually for me I'll be honest with you I have my moments where I feel ugly I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna sit here and be like oh I'm beautiful all the time I have my moments where I feel ugly oh my hair my face my makeup my outfit whatever but I'm not gonna let a guy tell me well I'm asking you let's have sex so you better say yes I'm, I'm not like that 
no thank you. You know, I have had my times where I have done stuff sexually with guys, but like they say it takes two to tango, it was partially my fault too, okay? I'm not going to say that I've, you know, it was never like the guys, you know, pressured me. It obviously had to be that I was feeling him, he was feeling me, stuff happened. That happens. It could have been a one-time thing. It could have been a guy that you were friendly with, regardless. However it may have been, topic is not every woman is going to sit there and be so desperate and have such low self-esteem that if a guy approaches you and says to you, hey, either, hey, let's bang, or sweet talks you and says, oh my God, your eyes are so beautiful. They remind me of the stars in the sky, and you're just going to melt into a puddle in his hand. It's not going to happen, you know? <laughs> let's bang. You, but I'm just being honest. You either have the guys that are straight up, like, hey, let's bang, or they try to give you some, like, oh, is your father a thief? No, why? Oh, because you stole my heart. Like, oh, God. Don't even come up to me with stupid pickup lines either. I hate corny ass pickup lines. I'll shut you down in no time. But the fact is, not every girl has low self esteem. Not every woman girl has low self esteem and is desperate. So if you think every big plus size, heavy, whatever you want to call us, woman, BBW, is sitting there desperate that enough that we're just going to go and have sex and screw anything, you're wrong. Again, there are some big girls that will just do that. That's their life. They want to do it. That's fine. But don't go crying to people. Oh, he used me. Oh, he did this. Because if you did it also, it's partially your fault. Yeah. Um, I just, I really don't like the fact that a lot of people think like, oh, like they want to, they want to judge you and put you in little categories. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah, she over there, she's big. She probably hasn't had sex, or she probably doesn't get it that much. Don't automatically assume and judge that just because a person is big, whether it be male or female, oh, this fan is blowing hair in my eyeballs, but just because if a guy, if a guy, blah, 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 rewind, regardless if a person, male or female, is big, heavy, whatever, doesn't mean just because they're big that they're not sexually active or haven't gotten any or don't get any, however you want to say it. You're wrong because there are plenty of people that are big that still do it. And they might even do it more than the skinny people. You know what I'm saying? So right away, I, I just you just have to love what people assume like, oh, I know it's probably been a while for you. Like, actually, bitch, like, you know, don't tell me that because you don't know. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm going to go stapling posters to the phone, phone poles saying I just got laid. <laughs> but the fact is... You can't tell me just because I'm big that I'm not getting any. Like, who are you to tell me? Yeah, like, you're like, and it's the truth. Like, 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 like just don't assume. Don't say, like, oh, this one right here probably, probably doesn't do anything. That, that's not the case. Or the best is also when you judge people by how they look, okay? Again, you see me clear? This is me, okay? Do I look like, um, do I look like a movie star? No. Do I look like a model? No. Do I look like... I don't know, fucking Britney Spears? No. But they right away want to judge you sometimes by, like, I don't have all my makeup. I don't wear too much makeup anyway. Obviously, yes. See these things on top of my eyes? They're eyebrows. See? I draw them in. Why? This will take two seconds. Because growing up, I didn't have real eyebrows. Like, I see how my sister has hair? Yeah, I have, like, eyebrow now, hair. Hers was so like it was flesh sparse. Tone. And it was sparse. Like yeah, and it's it, like it, it really. I, I understood like when she first said it to me. Like oh, it, it made more sense so, for like, her eyebrows tattooed. So my point to the the whole story is before I get off topic is that these yes I draw them in. I know. Oh my God, she draws her eyebrows. Let's make fun oh, of I'm her. Dead. But I got them tattooed on. It faded because of the sun, which is... And I now I touched them up. Plus, you got them done like seven, yes. eight years ago. So. I don't wear much makeup. What I, what I wear typically is my eyebrows, because if I don't, I'll look like I just have one never-ending forehead. I wear eyebrow stuff, sometimes eyeliner, maybe a little eyeshadow, and mascara. I don't wear cover-up. I do like to wear red lipstick. I don't wear cover-up. I don't do the whole... Like 40, foundation, bronzer, I don't, highlighters. Like. I don't do the 45-minute routine that I start out looking like this and at the end I look like Cameron Diaz. No. 
What you see is what you get, okay? But a lot of people still like to judge. You got the people that want to talk down about you like, oh, because you're big. Oh, honey, it's okay. You probably haven't had sex. Then you got the people that judge you on the opposite level because I walk around with blue hair. And sometimes when I do have my makeup done up, like the sh eyeshadow and the lipstick with my hair color, they right away want to, I guess, classify you as, I don't know, I'm trying to think of like a rebel kind of thing. Like they think like, oh, so then they want to think like, point blank, like they, I'll use the, weird, the word, we're all adults here. They want to classify you like, kind of like a, a slut or a whore kind of thing, you know? Like, oh my God, she must be one of those big girls that, that just do anything, that just do anything to any guy. Because why? Because I may wear a little bit of makeup, I wear red lipstick, I, I have blue hair. Like, don't, again, don't A, judge me saying I'm not getting any. Don't judge me saying that I'm a whore because I'm big and I and I try to I try to do whatever I can to either way you're wrong, okay? Just like a skinny woman could be a lady, so can a big woman. I again I've done I've done my my bad, I've done my good. I'm not I'm not, I'm not an angel, but the whole fact is that don't judge and assume and classify big woman on something just based on what you see because beauty is skin deep and so is their personal like it's all in here you know when up here like you don't know what people are thinking what they really do you know what I'm saying like you can't sit there and say because of this she's this like no that's not to me anything honestly some people like everybody has those times where you have a lot of regrets things that you shouldn't have did but it doesn't mean just because, oh, you're this, you're that, that you're easy, you're this. No, it doesn't mean that. But, I mean, it doesn't matter where you go, YouTube, real life, anywhere, they're all going to judge. They're all going to just assume and say, oh, she's easy, this one does this, this one does that. Well, this one doesn't get any, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's not the case. I mean, everybody has different ways of going about things. Some people don't want to just go out and have sex just for the hell of okay, it. Okay, really quick. You have my grandmother, for instance, who I love and I love her. I she has my heart. You know, she's been there for me. But you have her, who's so old-fashioned because she's 86. You have my grandmother, who really thinks that because we're big, that guys don't like us. The guys are gonna only take advantage of us. Yes. And choose us every single time. And that guys aren't into that. You're never gonna have a relationship. You're never gonna do this and that because you're big. Which I've told her multiple times that she's wrong. Like, and I have, I'm not, I, I'm not one of those people that are going to run and prove it to her. Like, I, I know people will do that. Like, I have to go prove it to my grandmother. Like, there's nothing to prove. Like, my, me telling her should be enough. And if she's not going to hear me out, then oh well. But I tried to let her know. I'm like, I was like, but Nana, that's what we call it. I go, Nana, you got to realize, like, maybe back when you were younger, that was a big thing. But there are so many guys now that like bigger women. And she's like, Oh, but be careful. I'm like, you have to be careful regardless if you're skinny or big. Doesn't matter. You know, like, your people. And I told her, I said, look at look at how many people get cheated on and hurt. And most of those people aren't big. You know, like, so what's the big difference? Like, but another one big thing I want to, because we only have so many more minutes left. And I don't want this to shut off. One other thing I wanted to bring up about sex is having sex positions and this and that and you know stuff like that not for every big woman or a big man it's a it's difficult but you do have some that it is difficult depending on your body shape if you're more bottom heavy if you're more top heavy if just gonna be honest if a guy's a big guy and doesn't really if he's small down there like there is difficulties when you're a bigger person when it comes to sex because it depends on the person you're having it with. Like, I'm not trying to be rude or mean. I'm not saying this out of hate, but I can't see myself being with a big guy because it would be too difficult for two big people to actually be intimate. Because you have, you know, to be clear, you have two people that are big. Obviously, they have big legs, big belly. And how are you going to... So, therefore, that I like guys that are more thinner, like... You know, they don't have to be super thin, but thinner. And, you know, that's how it is. And most big guys do like thinner girls. It's that, you know. But I'm just saying, it's not 100% always easy depending on 
the body shape, you know, the guy, the woman, this, that, the other. It's not always easy. But then again, depending on who you're with, depending on how the intimacy is and depending on the two people, it could be wonderful. Yeah, sure. It could be, it could be the best time of your life. It could be incredible. But I've had a lot of moments where it wasn't so pleasurable. And then I've had somewhere where, so I'm not going to sit there and say, but I'm just saying, when you're bigger... And also, there has to be passion in the whole thing, too. Yeah. Some, a lot of the guys I've been dealing with have been those less passionate fucking assholes I've ever been with in my entire life. Then again, there were some that, okay, I could say, yeah, you know, that wasn't bad, that was actually enjoyable, but, you know, it all sets to go based on that, too, and, you know, it's just... It just, it goes based on both people. If you're really into each other, you can make it happen. If you're not, then if it's, if it's like one person is the other one, it's just for themselves, then it's not going to work. It's just really just going to be like a big mistake. Like you shouldn't have, never really should even, should even done it. It's true. <laughs> but I'm just, yeah, I'm just saying like sex, put it like this, to sum it all up, not every woman or man that's big is desperate and has low self-esteem and is gonna just put their self out there and have sex with anybody just because they're big. Not every big person is ugly or horrible or has a disease or whatever people want to think. We're not. We're. St I could be. I'm the same person. If I was 150 pounds or however I'm now, I'm gonna be the same person. Yeah, none, none, of, none, of, none of you internally changes. Just your well, appearance changes. Some people do. Some people, when they lose a ton of weight, oh, they yeah, become... Oh, yeah, they think, like, yeah, look at me. I'm, I mean, don't I'm get me scared. wrong. Like, don't get me wrong. If that ever happens to me, I might change, and it might be a little for the better, because, you know, you do have maybe a little bit more self-esteem. I'm not going to lie. But I'm not going to change. Like, my personality can never change. You know, I love to laugh, make people laugh. That's just how I am. I love to just have a good time and... But to make it all short and sweet, sex, regardless if you're tall, short, fat, skinny, no matter what you are, black, white, Hispanic, Chinese, it happens to everybody where people get hurt and used and this and that. And then there's people that really do love you and care for you. You Both just have things. to get to know the person and know who you're dealing with. Sometimes you could think you know the person, be with them a couple of years, and they still leave you or cheat. Regardless, it happens to everybody. But when you're a BBW, speaking on my behalf and what has happened with her, friends, everything, I was just expressing that. And again, not saying that I'm 100% right. I don't want people commenting under saying, oh, you think you know everything. But... Oh, song. we thought the thing stopped. And yeah, it came I like panicked for a second. Woo! But yes, we have a few seconds to go. But like I said, let us know your opinion. Yes. Let us know any topics you want us to copy. BBWs, comment Ooh. below. Let us know. We'll talk about whatever it is because we we are we know what it's like. And comment below with any other topics you may have. Yeah. Yes. Like if you have any other topics, either you want to message us privately or comment. Or we have the Gmail. We have Twitter. Do whatever you. Okay. Again. Oh. I think it's warning us. All right. Um, we're going to, we'll be back. We yes. love you guys. And we love you. Love you. Comment.